What's up everybody and welcome to Blade Show 2023. Blade Show so far has been absolutely insane with more flippers than I've ever seen in this wonderful Balasong lane that we have going on. It's so dense back there that the Squid Industries booth is now like five booths long and you can't even see it. It's completely covered by people. Things are going really well this year and there's a lot of stuff happening. But right now, I wanna check out the Flytanium booth because they have, honestly at this point, some of the most interesting products I've ever seen and a pretty storied history with the Balasong community. So let's go ahead and check that out. Hello. Howdy. <laughs> How are you doing? Good. <laughs> nice to meet you, dude. Um, ben, yes. what do you do at Flytanium? I'm an industrial designer at Flytanium along with Brian over here on the design team developing products and designing them and doing all that stuff, both on our knife scale side of the business, doing scales and folding knives, and then also on the ballast song side, doing full ballast songs and then aftermarket ballast song parts. Gotcha. So for people that don't know, I think the first thing that catches my eye is this beautiful display you guys have oh, for the you. tater song. Yes. The Tater Song obviously is fast food themed and french fry themed in crinkle cut style with these wavy handles here. Yep. And as well as like a steak styled knife on the blade itself. Oh, I never even thought about that. It really yeah. is like a steak knife. It's like a steak knife on the knife. And then a nice reveal here at Blade Show, we wanted to do like a tray, the full fast food effect, this foam hamburger, yeah. show off the toys that come with the Happy Meal that is the Tater Song. Our warranty card comes on this goofy napkin. The theming is incredible. Yeah. Like I love, I love the fact, you know, it's already a very silly product, let's be honest. Yeah. So going all the way in terms of yeah. making the theming happen. It's already so goofy, you got to go even more goofy. You have to yeah. go all the way. And when you own it like that, then it becomes something else. I own one of these. And every time that I have let someone try it, they always pick it up and go, it's actually good. It's actually kind of good. Yeah. <laughs> Has that been happening here? <laughs> yeah, that's been happening all morning. People grab me like, oh, this is actually great. Like, why do I love this? Why do I like this? Yeah, it's so funny. It shouldn't be good. It, it should, but it is somehow. It's so funny. Also, I just noticed I love this. It says on the blade, I was a dirty little thief at Blade Show because this is one of the, the displays. Uh, display units. Yeah. And so if someone steals it, well, we're watching you. Back here, We've got some stuff that kind of calling back to some original traditional traditional Balasong designs. And I really like the sort of like, it reminds me of older Flytanium products, like the 63 handles and stuff like that. Yeah. But this is an original product. Correct. It's the Flytanium Fly One. These handles really call back to original Flytanium designs. It almost gives it a retro feel to me right, in a weird yeah. way. This is really nice to see kind of come back yeah. in a full scale product. Yeah, full circle. It, yeah, it really yeah. is a full circle experience. But moving on, I see there's new, new tower songs. Oh wait, this is on bushings? It's on bushing, yeah. So bushings oh. and tanto blades. That's kind of the differential between the bushings and the bearings is you have a tanto versus a scimitar blade. Got it. We actually just got those in here this morning, shipped to us overnight. Wow. Um, the bushings experience on this is actually extremely nice. Like that's very satisfying. Is this still bearings? Correct, that's the bearing. That's the scimitar version. And so there's a substantial difference in the sound as well. I'm gonna, I'm gonna let you listen to both and you'll hear the bearings have a little bit more of a high pitch ping and a bit of a rattle to it, whereas the uh, the bushings are really clean sounding. So right. let's do that. I really, really like the way these feel. These yeah. feel fantastic. So that I think that's a great upgrade. And I gotta say, normally when you're switching between blade profiles, that can be a very difficult thing because yeah. often you can end up with just a completely different flipping experience. Right. But these are pretty one-to-one. -one. They feel really good together. Very similar, yeah. It's yeah. cool to upgrade it to the Tonto blade. Just kind of give it a little bit of a refresh also. I like the Tonto a lot. I think yeah, it's, 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 so, it's very cool. Pretty. It's cool looking too, which is nice. Always a plus. Always so. a plus. Then moving right along, I see this the and crazy then stuff. this is some craziness. Yeah, so what in the world is this? So this here is the UFO, otherwise known as the unidentified flipping object. Oh, so okay. It's a new entry level Balasong toy that we're introducing here in a couple months with nylon handles and a steel center ring, which is different from like your traditional like normal center blade on a trainer. So we don't wow. really know what people are gonna do with it yet, but we're excited to see. It'll be like a fun toy, good entry level, a little less threatening looking, fun to have in the pocket, and also starting at a really, really um, inexpensive price point, around $18, so. Around 18 yeah, bucks. Yeah, that's what we're hoping. That's what we're wow. hoping. Wow. That's awesome. This yeah. is weirdly, it, it's like, 
it's really weird. Like, it feels very strange to flip. Yeah. But I'm pulling stuff off on it that I didn't think I would be able to. Yeah. I don't know if you feel that kind of little extra oomph that comes with it when you swing. There's a steel bar inset inside at the back of the handles here. That makes a lot of sense. Right Immediately, I can see myself just coming up with weird, random things to do on this, and I love that. Yeah. So that's cool. All right, so then the final thing, this looks more traditional. Yes. I am reminded of something here. <laughs> with the blade with style? With the blade, yeah. Similar to our aftermarket Zenith blade. We have developed a new Zenith trainer, which is 7075 aluminum handles, nice. anodized, um, comes in either stone wash, blade finish, or black oxide finish, and it is also on bushings. Nice. So um, we're working on these right now. We'll hopefully have them in like two to three months um, to sell. And with these two, we're aiming to be selling them at around 65. Really? Um, yeah, for that nice, like another entry level above the UFO. Um, yeah. type Balasong trainer to get you into the industry and get That's you into that group. That's awesome. Yeah. I, I love seeing more companies coming in and selling products around the $65, $70 yeah. price range. It's also too like not sacrificing like some of the nice features that you want. So we got like nice surface texturing on this yep. for good grip. It is very textured. Like the, the grip on this thing is honestly fantastic. I like the speed channels. The speed channels yeah. are really neat. I feel them as I'm like doing different tricks. Yeah. It's very rectangular, which I think some people will like and some people will right. probably be a little put off by, but personally, I'm very impressed with this thing. Yeah. And I like the return to form with going with the Zenith yeah. trainer blade. Right. Like. And also too, it's kind of got this interesting like back shaping here on the bottom, which yeah. we've heard some comments about where people are like, oh, that's kind of interesting. I don't yeah, really I like know what I think about that, but like, oh. Overall, I think it's it works pretty still, well for so uh, good. the palm spin. And we also are giving away three at Blade Show, which is why we have this nice display cylinder. I like the, the two display cylinder. Golden versions that we requested from our supplier to have made. Ooh. Very spicy. And then a black one because we wanted to get three, but they only sent us two. So yeah. Ah, uh, rest in peace. But yeah. the black one's still good. So. So. I'm gonna be honest. When when I uh, heard that Flytanium was gonna be here, I was like, oh great, I can't wait. But also at the same time, like you know, they haven't announced right. much. Yeah. This was way more than I expected. Yeah. Thank you so much. No I really problem. appreciate you taking a moment to uh, talk to me about all these for products. Sure. I, I think there's some really big stuff for Flytanium in the future. This is yeah, we're excited. very exciting. Okay. And <laughs> trust fall. Ah, no, bad, bad print. That was fantastic. I love seeing the creativity that's come from Flytanium. They're really making some interesting products with a lot of interesting stories. And to be fair, I also love that they actually fully lean into the theming with things like the Tater Song and the UFO. Like, if you're gonna go, you gotta go all the way. So thank you so much Flytanium for letting us bother you at this very busy show. And thank you so much to our Patreon supporters for making all of this possible. Possible. Your donations really do help us a lot. We have been doing our best to make things as stable as possible, and so every donation, no matter how small, does genuinely help launch us towards our dreams of being stable on YouTube, no matter how difficult that might actually be. So either way, thank you all so much for watching. Huge thanks to our patrons, and I hope you have 